are the Pittsburgh Steelers putting the car in gear? Hello, Steeler Nation, and welcome to your latest episode of the Pittsburgh across the, across the pond. Speaking to you here in the UK, where it is raining as normal. So this week, Pittsburgh Steeler fans, the uh, cuts took place. Five more players cut from the 85-man roster to take it down to 80 players. And one of those players cut was Jannard Avery. He was seen as being outside linebacker number three by many in Steeler Nation and came and played, obviously, on Saturday against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Personally, I thought he played okay against the Jags. He had three pre quarterback pressures and, in my opinion, was held loads and prevented from getting to the quarterback by the Jags offensive line, grabbing big chunks of his shirt, which the officials seemed to miss, although the officials were especially awful on Saturday. So with Avery gone, Tushka obviously has an opportunity to play, as does, you know, Delonte Scott. But it's very much an attitude of next man up for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That is the attitude that Mike Tomlin seems to have, and it seems the, the attitude across Steeler Nation and across the Steelers roster as a whole. Next man up. So who is the next man up? Who is the next man after Janard Avery who can step up there and take a chance and have an audition to see if he is going to be that first change outside linebacker after Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt? Well, guys, it's this man here, number 46, Hamilcar Rashad Jr., a player acquired off waivers from the New York Jets. So Avery's gone. Apparently didn't fit in with the scheme didn't really didn't really see seem part of what Steelers wanted to see on defense. So they have changed it. They've got rid of him. And now they see this man, Hamakar Rashad, as the next man up. Now it's been reported from Steelers training this week that Hamilcar Rashad has been taking reps with the first team defense, playing at right outside linebacker in the absence of the still injured Alex Highsmith, who is suffering with his ribs. Jerry Dulac tweeted this out. Steelers cut outside linebacker Jannard Avery because they didn't think he was a fit for their defense. Nothing more. We'll start and look at Hamilcar Rashad, number 46, against the Lions. But outside linebacker pickup after cuts is still in play. So Jerry Dulac, who is a Steelers insider, seems to think that Rashad will play from the start against the Lions on Saturday, given the fact that Highsmith is still out with an injury. It will also give the Steelers coaches a chance to actually have a good look at Rashad and how he plays in competitive game action against a first team op offensive line. With the Lions announcing they will play their starters apart from Jared Goff against the Steelers on Sunday. Now, Rashad now is facing what I would term is the biggest audition of his life, the biggest trial of his life. If he can pass this, he could make his way onto the 53-man roster and be the first change linebacker after Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt. That would obviously mean that he would get a lot of opportunity to actually come in and play because of the fact that the Steelers are going to have to try and manage the snaps of Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt this season and not overuse them and risk them getting injured. So in terms of Rashad, this is him. He's an ex-Jet, obviously. He is six foot two, 251 pounds. He has 33 and a half inch arm span. He has 10 inch hands. As we know, hand size is all important in the NFL, apparently. Uh, one year experience. He came out of Oregon State. His hometown is Phoenix, Arizona, and he is 24 years old. He was a UDFA brought, brought in by the New York Jets. Now, Hamakar Rashad is someone who has interested the Steelers even before they signed him off waivers. Even as the draft was undergoing in 2022, Rashad was someone who was of interest to coach Mike Tomlin. This is what coach Mike Tomlin had to say about Hamakar Rashad before he was actually signed by the Steelers, or as he was actually signed by the Steelers, should I say. As an outside, he's an outside linebacker body type. I think he had 14 sacks his junior year at Oregon State, and that captured our attention. But it's a get to know, it's a get to know process, and we'll be excited about giving him an opportunity to show himself to us. He's a guy that's not a rookie. He's been in this thing, so I'm hopeful that he can learn fast enough to be a contributor in some form of fashion Saturday. That was in reference, obviously, to the first game against Seattle. So there's a chance that Rashad could well play a part, well, will play a part as a starter on S Sunday against the Detroit Lions. Rashad, in his junior year at Oregon State, put up some fantastic numbers, 22 and a half tackles for a loss and 14 sacks. He certainly looked to be 
projecting the way of becoming a top draft prospect coming out of Oregon State as an outside linebacker playing in a 4-3 sister, in a 3-4 system, sorry. Very much fitting with how the Steelers like to play. But he was dealt, he had to deal with injuries problems through the rest of his college career. And during his senior year, he really did whiff. He didn't do at all well. And it all seemed to go south for him. This really did affect his draft stock and may meant that he ended up as being an undrafted free agent picked up by the New York Jets rather than being drafted in one of the mid rounds, which was the projection for him after his junior year. Now, obviously, Derek Tushka will obviously have an opportunity as well to compete for that uh, outside linebacker three spot behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. There is also rumours of the Steelers picking up someone if there are cuts made, of course, to NFL rosters. One of the rumours currently doing the rounds is that uh, Quincy Roche, the former Pittsburgh Steelers draft pick who was let go last year and ended up with the New York Giants, is very much on the bubble at the Giants. He doesn't fit in with their 4-3 scheme. You know, he is, he's not uh, big enough to be a defensive end, which is what he, you know, he, he's, he thrives on attacking the quarterback and he doesn't fit into their three linebacker set behind that. So he's very much... Uh, could be a re-signing for the Pittsburgh Steelers. So go the rumours at this point in time. But Hamakar Rashid will have the first opportunity to actually have a go at becoming that outside linebacker three behind TJ and Alex. If we look at what he's done in his time, particularly on Saturday against the Jacksonville Jaguars, where he put up some very impressive film. He was shedding blocks. He was stuffing the run very, very well. In fact, his 83.3 PFF grade against the run was the highest of any Pittsburgh Steeler defender. He uses his hands well to counter blocks. He has good speed. The only thing he really needs to develop and work on is his power, apparently. But that is something that he can be coached with and improved with by Jerry O and Brian Flores. Certainly, Hamakar Rashid is in for the audition of his life. On, sat on Sunday against the Lions, where he could secure himself a spot on the 53-man roster this coming NFL season for the Pittsburgh Steelers and secure himself quite a, a substantial amount of playing time as well as the Steelers try to spell and get the best out of Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt all season long. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think of the possibility of Hamakar Rashid moving up and being our outside linebacker three behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. Or is this a position we still need to add to? And who would you go after out there? Would you trade for someone? Or is there someone on the free agent market you still think could do a job for the Pittsburgh Steelers? Thank you so much for watching. If you still haven't subscribed yet to the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate, hit that subscribe and ring that bell. Come and join the Pittsburgh Steelers Syndicate family. Bet the biggest, the best, the new, freshest growing, fastest growing, sorry, channel on the internet about your Pittsburgh Steelers. Thanks for watching. Here we go, Steelers. Come on!